Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on angles in a polygon. Now in this tutorial we'll run through some important facts that you need to know so you can tackle exam questions successfully. So let's have a look at the definition polygon. Well a polygon is a multi-sided 2D shape made of straight lines. All of these are examples of polygons because you can see they're 2D shapes and they're made of straight lines. Now let's work out the angles inside our polygons. And to do this, we're going to use the basic angle fact that there's 180 degrees in a triangle. Now knowing this, we can apply it to all our polygons by simply splitting them into triangles. So for this quadrilateral, you can see it's made of two triangles. So the sum of angles is 360 degrees. For our pentagon, you can see the sum of angles is made of three triangles, so it's 540 degrees. The sum of angles for our hexagon is made up of one, two, three, four triangles, which gives me a sum of angles to be 720 degrees. Now, an easy way to work out the sum of angles is using this formula, where the sum of angles in any polygon is 180 degrees multiplied by n minus 2, where n represents the number of sides. For example, looking at our hexagon, this is made of 6 sides. So, 6 subtract 2 is 4. 4 times 180 gives my 720. So this is a quick and easy way to work out the sum of angles in any polygon. So now we know the sum of angles in any polygon, let's have a look at some key words. Regular and irregular. Well, well, a regular polygon is where all the lengths are equal and all the angles are equal. An irregular polygon is where all the lengths are different and all the angles are different. Now let's have a look at some more key words, in particular exterior angles. Well, all I'm going to do is just draw this polygon. I'm going to highlight the exterior angles. To do this, all I need to do is elongate a length, elongate another length, and elongate another length. The angle created outside of this polygon are called exterior angles. So here I've highlighted all my exterior angles. Now what's really important to note about exterior angles is when I bring them all together. So all I'm going to do is highlight the center of my polygon and I'm going to bring together all my exterior angles. And what you'll notice is the sum of the exterior angles will always be 360 degrees. So even if I look at a irregular polygon, here you can see I've extended each of our lengths and then highlighted each of our exterior angles. Now I'm going to bring together all my exterior angles into the center of my polygon. And you can see the sum of the exterior angles is 360 degrees. Therefore, this is the next formula that's super important to know. The sum of exterior angles is always 360 degrees. Now let's extend this fact a little bit more using our knowledge on regular polygons. Well, if we know we have a regular polygon here and we know all the lengths are equal and all the angles are equal, and we also know all the exterior angles sum to 360 degrees, therefore we can quickly work out the exterior angle of any regular polygon. And it's simply 360 divided by the number of sides. This will always give us the exterior angle of any regular polygon. This is the key information needed to tackle any exam question regarding angles in a polygon. So let's have a look at a past exam question. Here the question states that D to A to C is a straight line, F to C to B is a straight line, and A to B to E is a straight line. We're asked to work out angle X and we must give reasons for our answer. So let's start by identifying what we know. Well, first of all, we know D to A to C is a straight line. So therefore, I can work out angle DAB. Well, DAB is simply 180 degrees, subtract our 70 degrees, because we know the sum of angles on a straight line is 180 degrees. Therefore, we know DAB to be 110 degrees. So now we know the exterior angles. We have 135, 110, and x. 
and we know the sum of exterior angles is 360 degrees. So that means we can work out x, which is simply 360, subtract our 110, subtract our 135, which gives us angle x to be 115 degrees, because we know the sum of exterior angles is always 360 degrees. Now the great thing about maths is there's always more than one way to get your solution. You could have worked out the interior angles of our polygon and then calculated angle x from there. Either way, it still would have confirmed x to be 115 degrees. Now let's have a look at another question. Here the question says the diagram shows a regular octagon and a regular hexagon. We're asked to find the size of angle marked x and we must show all working out. Now, Remember how we find an exterior angle. It's simply extending the length of our polygon. So extending the length of our polygon, you can see that X is made up of the exterior angle of our regular octagon and the exterior angle of our regular hexagon. So let's work out the exterior angle of our regular octagon. Well, to work out the exterior angle of a regular octagon, it's simply 360 divided by 8, which is 45 degrees. So now I know the angle here is 45 degrees. To work out the exterior angle of a regular hexagon, it's simply 360 divided by 6, which means my exterior angle is 60 degrees. So that means x is simply the sum of 45 and 60, which is 105 degrees. Like I said before, the great thing about maths is there's more than one way to get your solution. You could have worked out the interior angles of our polygons and then worked out x from there. Either way, you still would have got x to be 105 degrees. So now let's have a look at another exam question. Here it states that A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H is a regular octagon. We know A, D, J is a straight line. And we know B to A to D is exactly the same angle as C to D to A. Now we have to show that the angle C, D, J is 135 degrees. See if you can give it a go using the key information that we've looked at and press pause if you need. So firstly, let's identify the sum of all the angles in our octagon. And then from here, we can identify what each angle is. Well, to work out the sum of angles of an octagon, it's simply 180 multiplied by the 8 subtract 2. So it's 180 times 6, which is 1080 degrees. So therefore, we know the sum of all the angles in our octagon is 1080 degrees. But I just want to find one angle. So therefore, I'm simply going to divide by 1080 by 8, giving me 135 degrees. So therefore, I know each angle inside my octagon has got to be 135 degrees. Now, looking at angle A to B to C, I know it's going to be the same as B to C to D. So I can identify these two angles to be 135 degrees. Now look at the quadrilateral I have here. Well, I know the sum of angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. And I also know angle BAD is the same as CDA. So therefore, I can work angle CDA to be 360, subtract our 135, subtract our 135 and divide by 2. This gives me angle CDA to be 45 degrees, because the sum of angles in our quadrilateral is 360. Now, I can easily work out angle CDJ, because angles on a straight line sum to 180 degrees. So therefore, I know CDJ is 135 degrees, which confirms what the question told me. The great thing in maths is there's more than one way to find the solution. So don't worry if you found the answer to be 135, but in a different way, as long as your working out is clear. So now let's have a look at our last question. It says A, B, C, D, E and A, F, G, C, H, 
are two pentagons of the same size. We're asked to work out angle E to A to H and we must show how we got our answer. Now it's quite difficult to see these regular pentagons so I'm going to simply highlight. Here's my first regular pentagon and here's my second regular pentagon. Now from here, given the fact that these are regular pentagons, it's fair to say that A, B, C, H is a rhombus because we know these sides are equal in length. Identifying our rhombus is super important for what we're going to do later on. See if we can use this hint as well as this key information to work out angle E to A to H and press pause if you need. So remember, we know A, B, C and H is a rhombus. Now let's work out each angle inside our regular pentagon. And to do this, well, let's work out the sum of angles of our pentagon first. Well, we know our pentagon has five sides. Five subtract two is three, and three times our 180 is 540. So we know all the angles in our regular pentagon add up to 540. So let's find out what each angle is. Well, 540 divided by five is 108. So inside my rhombus, I'm going to identify my angles to be 108 and also A, B, C to be 108. This is because we know opposite angles in a rhombus are the same. Now we're able to work out angle HAB because this is the same as HCB. Well, we know it's 360, subtract our 108, subtract our 108, divide by 2 would give us angle HAB. This means HAB is 72 degrees. So now I know HAB is 72 degrees, I can work out angle E to A to H. Remember, this is our inside angle of our regular pentagon. And I know the sum of the angle of the regular pentagon is 108 degrees. So therefore, I simply do 108, take away my 72, stating that my angle E to A to H is 36 degrees. So, in summary, when tackling exam questions using angles in a polygon, it's super important to remember these key words as well as these key formulas. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.